Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss about block consumer. This widget is used if you want to rebuild the UI as well as if you want to display a dialog or a snack bar or navigate to some other screen, then we can use block consumer. This means if you want to combine the functionality of block builder and block listener, then we can go for block consumer. Let me show you how to do that. Now, this is the same project which I have used in the earlier video. So here I will use block consumer and in this block consumer I need to specify the block and the state. So I am copying this and pasting it here. So I have specified the type of block and the state. Now in builder here it will take the context and the state. So I am using context and state. and here it will return a text widget and in this text widget i will display the value of counter that is state dot counter dot to a string and in this listener which will also take context and state i will pass context and state and here i will simply copy this snack bar code so let me cut it from here and I will paste it here. Now there is no need of this block listener. So let me remove this and let me do a hot restart now. Now let me show you the output. Then you can see the initial value of counter that is 0 is displayed. Now if I click here, then you can see the value is incrementing. And once the value is greater than equals to 5, then this snack bar is displayed. If I click here once again, then you can see counter value is 6 and this snack bar is displayed. This is how by using the block consumer, we can rebuild the UI as well as we can display any kind of dialog or snack bar or if you want, you can move to some other screen as well. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching.